Today's topic is seborrheic dermatitis. Seborrheic dermatitis is a common long-term skin disorder that looks similar to eczema or an allergic reaction that can appear on the body as well as the scalp. It is marked by red, itchy, scaly patches and stubborn dandruff. Areas of the skin rich in oil-producing glands such as the face, chest, and sides of the nose, eyebrows, ears, and eyelids, an area where the skin folds are mostly affected. The condition is most common in those around the age of 50 and also during puberty. The condition is also common among infants less than 3 years old when it often affects the scalp, cradle cap. The condition is more common in men than in women and in people with oily skin. It is not contagious. Causes The exact cause of seborrheic dermatitis is unknown, but current theories for the causes suggest an irregular response to the immune system, an inflammatory reaction to a fungus called malassezia that is in the oil secretion of the skin, issues with the nervous system, the lack of specific nutrients. Some factors can increase your risk of developing the condition. These may include a weakened immune system as seen in people with AIDS, alcoholism, certain medications, Parkinson's disease, depression, recovery from some stressful condition such as a stroke or heart attack, symptoms, soreness, itching, yellowish, white or gray flakes on the skin of the scalp, eyebrows, beard, behind the ears, groins, armpits, or under the breast, patchy scaling on the scalp, red, greasy skin covered with flaky white or yellow scales, psychological stress, fatigue, sleep deprivation, change of season, and decreased general health can aggravate your condition. Diagnosis and Treatment The diagnosis of seborrheic dermatitis is made by examination of the skin. The doctor will be able to determine if you have the condition on the basis of its appearance. A scraping of the skin scale for examination to rule out other medical condition that may mimic seborrheic dermatitis, including psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, or tinea versicolor may be carried out. A skin biopsy may be required, although it is rare. Treatment Often the best result comes from a combination of treatment, both medication and lifestyle. Treatment often includes the use of over-the-counter antifungal shampoo or prescription antifungal shampoo. The doctor may prescribe a product with 2% ketoconazole or 1% cyclopirox. An antihistamine may be used to prevent itching if present. Topical steroids such as fluosiminone, capex, clobetasol, chlormax, or desinide desinate may be applied to the scalp or affected area. If other treatments are not working, the doctor may recommend an antifungal medication that will be taken orally. Lifestyle changes and skin care tips may also help improve your condition. This may include washing scalp daily washing the skin regularly, removing scale by applying olive or mineral oil for an hour or more, and then coming off the scalp gently. Styling products should be avoided when treating the condition. Skin and hair products that contain alcohol should be avoided as this may flare up the condition. Beards or mustache should be washed regularly. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.